a full face of first impressions. So I had this whole bunch of products that I had to use for the first time. So I thought, why not do a full face of first impressions? So yes, this is what I ended up doing and I really like the end result. It's really uh, wearable as well. It's very coppery and bronzy, orangey, appropriate for summer. You can switch up the lip, definitely you can because even I thought it's a little bit darker but I went with it nonetheless. So yes, if you like this look, look, wow. If you like this look and you want to see what all products that I use and give my mini reviews, then please keep on watching. The first thing we're going to try out is this Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. This is in the shade uh, Light Medium and I'm going to use this with the help of this RC Cosmetics Slant Buffer Brush. As you can see it still seals, I'm not cheating or anything. This is genuinely a first impression, like full face of first impressions. The foundation has no smell. And it genuinely feels really creamy. Quite light as well. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. And it's blending really nicely. Coverage wise, it has medium coverage, and I really like the finish it has on my skin. It's really dewy and luminous, and it's really soft to touch as well. My skin feels really soft to touch as well. Overall, a yay product till now. Next for my highlighting concealer, I'm gonna use Inveda BB Cream. Uh, I know this is a BB cream but um, I've seen the shade which is quite light. This is what the shade looks like. I haven't still used it ever. So uh, I just think that this would go better. See it's also sealed. So I just think that this would go better as my um, you know uh, highlighting concealer. I'm gonna take a little bit first. I'm gonna place it under my eye in a triangular form. This is quite uh, liquidy. The Wet n Wild foundation was a bit on the thicker side, not like really thick, but a little, a little bit thicker. This is really liquidy. It does have a little bit of fragrance, which is very pleasant though. I'm gonna just put it on my uh, areas where I have to highlight. So those are all the places I want to highlight. So I'm just gonna use the same brush and buff this into my skin. This does have a definite yellow tone, which would help in camouflaging the dark circles as well. I think I should work this in with my fingers because the brush ain't working well. You have to be really quick with this BB cream. It is setting in so quickly. And it is also settling into a fine sort of patches maybe. I can, I'm not sure but it feels like you know around my nose area where I do have a little bit of pore issue. It is just sinking into it. At the end of the day, the yellow tone is really helping in covering up the dark circles and it gives your skin a really flawless look which I like. So this Inveda BB Cream is an okay product in my opinion. Time to set left face and to set my face I'm using Wet n Wild Cover All Pressed Powder. This is in the shade, um, which shade is this? Which shade is this? Light medium again. I still have to open up the seal so let's open this up together. Opening the seal. Level Shreya. Ha. So this is what the powder looks like. It does come with its own sponge. So I'm just going to use my favorite Kabuki brush to just dust this powder all over my face. Ooh, and it's so powdery. It has like I don't think you can see it, but it just powdered up. It has like a medicine-like fragrance, and if you can see, there are particles, powder particles all over. But I'm just going to set my face. It is definitely very powdery, like very very powdery. I'll see how it looks on my skin though. But it looks gorgeous on the skin. It just gives your skin that, you know, buffed out, matte look which I live for. Yes, uh, next, I'm just going to do my brows. And for my brows, I'm going to use this Inglot Freedom System Brow Wax. This is a new launch by Inglot and 571. This is shade number 571 and this is what it looks like still sealed and everything so let me just open it up for you guys so this is what the brow wax looks like I think the shade is perfect and this is the first time I'm using a brow wax so I'm just gonna use it with my Real Techniques eyebrow brush and let's see how this goes the wax is uh, not like completely opaque it's sort of translucent and it's sticking to the eyebrow hair 
so it looks really naturalish right now at least till now it is not opaque which I sort of like because it could have looked really heavy plus it will keep my brows in place for all day long and you need really tiny amount of it as well to just you know groom your brows it's quick it's easy it's gonna fill your brows as well as keep them in place for all day long what else do you want from life next up highlighting so I'm gonna use this blush by city color which came in my April fab bag and I'm gonna use the lightest shade right here with this small blending brush and I'm gonna just place it on the uh, cheekbone, bridge of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, forehead, you know the drill so I'm just gonna take it on this brush, tap off the excess and then just go ahead and highlight and illuminate my face really subtle shade so if you want to look for like a daytime highlight this is the perfect shade for that and I really like the texture of this as well for my blush I'm again going into my Inglot Twitches and this is the Freedom System blush in the shade 51 a gorgeous peachy pink shade really close to Nars Orgasm I think and so I'm gonna open up the seal and my blade comes in handy again so yes this is the blush I'm gonna take it on a blush brush it's highly pigmented so I'm gonna dust off the access because I don't wanna look like a joker and then I'm just gonna dust this on my cheek Oh, gorgeous shade just look at the gorgeousness of this shade I love it goodbye not like goodbye it's like a good buy good purchase <laughs> It's the most gorgeous blush color I have ever applied. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, I'm in love. Can't even. I can't even. It's just so gorgeous. I can't. Let's take a moment here. Overacting. I know. But that's how I am. Okay, let's get moving now. So I'm going to go in with that city color blush again and I have this shade right here which is sort of slightly darker than my skin tone. I'm going to pick it up again and I'm going to just slightly contour a little. Okay, the texture is just very very nice. Really like it. It is a very uh, subtle contour shade again. I don't want to go really heavy handed on my contour. I want it to be subtle and I know like there is this... Um, sort of a bump right here it's not even a pimple now because it has died I don't even know what it's doing there it's just there so please don't mind it I'm just gonna contour my nose slightly as well because this is a really subtle shade I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my lip to make my lips look fuller and bigger and sexy do I have Kylie Jenner lips yet? moving on to eyes I still have to try out my Givenchy La Prism Uke it's a, a limited edition uh, eyeshadow palette which has all acidy shades then I have this Shiseido uh, accentuating ombre color and then I have this Anna Sui eye color accent I have to try them all yet I haven't even touched them once these are all still in their you know fancy packaging so I'm gonna take that same brush I took for highlighting and everything because why not and I'm gonna go into this Anna Sui eyeshadow in the shade 301 I'm just gonna pick it up on this brush it has a fragrance like a rose and it has a rose uh, print on it as well like uh, embossed on it so I think that's, that's what they tried so yes I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna dust this all over my eyelid from my moving lid up till my brow bone this is gonna be like a nice shimmery base oh it's really pigmented as well because I'm using it with like a diffusing brush and still it has a lot of color and shimmer this is how it looks like on my finger really pigmented and uh, buttery soft I think all the things I'm trying today are like good except I think that Inveda BB cream that was a little bit hmm but at the end of the day I still like the effect it gave me but all the things I'm trying today are like let's just not jinx that next I'm gonna take the Shiseido eyeshadow in the shade Fire Opal it's a gorgeous bronze orange color and I'm picking it up with this big eyeshadow brush oh my god look at the pigmentation and it's just like I touched it and it's so soft Wow, it's a good day for me indeed. So I'm just gonna dust off the excess because it is very pigmented. I'm gonna place this all over my eyelid. Really love this color, so gorgeous. Especially for Indian skin tones, just so gorgeous. 
I'm just slightly gonna put this Anasui eyeshadow in my inner corners as well because it's a beautiful highlight. Going in with this Juwanshi Leprism Yip in the shade uh, Acid Lights, what it looks like. And I'm gonna pick up, um, I guess I'm gonna pick up this brown one right here. Yes, and my nails are so chipped, just keeping it real. So yes, I'm gonna pick up that uh, brown shade with the help of this Angular Blending Brush from, from Eco Tools. These eyeshadows don't have a fragrance, thank god don't smell like acid. If they were to follow Anna Sui's footsteps, they would have smelled like acid. So yes, I'm gonna take that shade, dusting off the access, and I'm just gonna make uh, an outer V. Like define my outer V. These eyeshadows look as if they're shimmery, but the shimmer doesn't really transfer onto the eyes. I don't know if I'm happy or sad about that fact. I'm gonna take that multi-purpose blending brush and blend everything out. I'm gonna take this small brush and because this is an acid light palette and if you don't use the gorgeous acid shade then there's no use of the palette. So I'm just gonna pick up this yellow shade right here. Like so. And I'm gonna place it right in my inner corners. Yellow ain't pigmented enough. I don't like this. I like my yellows to be really pigmented. It's more on the powdery side. Didn't expect this from you, Juwanchi. I jinxed myself. I think that has to do with it. For my eyeliner, I have this Faces uh, Long Wear Eye Pencil in the shade uh, Copper Rose. Pretty matchy matchy to the eye look we have going on. So I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. It's really creamy and it glides on the eye. I didn't even tug or pull my eye. Wow! Just look at the effect it has. I really, really like this. And I'm gonna set my lower lash line with that Shiseido eyeshadow. Mascara time! And I'm gonna be using this Blue Heaven Fashion Mascara. The bottle of which is really flat, as you can see. So, this is what the wand looks like. Pretty normal. Let's see how the effect goes. Pretty normal mascara, nothing great whatsoever. It's just like making my lashes look black. It's not giving them volume or length. Really liquidy uh, mascara. It's not a dry formula, it's really liquidy. No, it does absolutely nothing to lengthen or voluminize the lashes. If you want a mascara which would lengthen and voluminize, this is not the best mascara of them all. Moving on to lipstick, I'm gonna be using this Palladio lipstick in the shade Rosy Plum, which is also in the same family of my makeup going on here. And I got this one in my fab bag. It has a really beautiful smell, like fragrance. So I'm just gonna see how the texture of it goes. It is not the smoothest lipstick out there, but it's not even the, you know, harshest lipstick out there. But I don't think it's going with my look that much, is it guys? So I found this Faces Go Chic Lip Gloss, which I haven't still used ever. And this is in the shade... Which shade is this? Which shade is this? Copper Bronze. So it goes with the copperish theme that I'm going for today. So this is what the lip gloss looks like. Hopefully it will make the look come together. Otherwise I do have one Maybelline lipstick which I hate for the shade that I got it for. And I never used it. So yes, I'm just going to take this lip gloss. It does have like a slight fragrance but it's not very edible sort of a fake fragrance. Uh, it's pretty pigmented. I won't take that away from the lip gloss. But obviously because I have one shade going below, it, it's not like showing up properly. I think this shade is pretty good enough. It's not sticky, which I like because I hate sticky lip glosses. So this is my complete look. Let me just take off my band and make my hair all glorious. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this full phase of first impressions and yes, let me know if you like these sort of videos. I would do many more of these if you do because I love buying new stuff. So it would just give me, you know, a bahana to buy more stuff. 
So yes, again I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please rate, comment and subscribe. If you do recreate this look because this look also came out to be really gorgeous then do not forget to send it to me on my social media. All my social media links would be in the bottom bar along with an address where you can send me letters and things and I will see you guys on Monday. Till then take care. Bye.